Hi everybody, I'm Mark, back with what I'm hoping to be the final Digitech RP300 lesson. We're going to start with delay. I guess we can use that channel. Delay is off right now. But, if we were to turn it on, it has several different ones, digital, analog, and ping pong. The ping pong goes back and forth, like I said in our last lesson, if you'd hooked up to your right and left, it would go back and forth, which is kind of a pretty cool thing. For right now, we'll just put the analog one on. And this is how long the delay is and if we So that's that's a long delay if you want it shorter. Shorter even yet. And if you want to just fatten your sound up, you, you can hear it like almost sound like a reverb. There it's just just enough it fattens your sound up. Then we have the amount of feedback that you have. You can have it one, then it'll just give you one feedback, then or three. just goes on forever. Here is your level of how loud your your sound is that comes back to you. See how it's lower? Now if we turn it up, it's almost the same sound. So that's our delay. We can go into our reverb. Let's just turn the delay off here. Now your reverb, you have several different settings on your reverb. You can turn it off, of course. We have studio, room, club, plate, hall, amphitheater, church, garage, arena, spring, which is supposed to imitate the old spring reverbs. You have your pre, pre delay, pre decay. I'm sorry, and and decay. Your dampening and your level. So that is our reverb and the expression pedal, which has a lot of stuff in it. First of all, you can set it to pedal, or you can set it to these low frequency oscillators the, they have a square one and a triangular one an oscillator uh, does just what it sounds like uh, it takes the sound up and down uh, you hear how it's moving in and out listen, listen. And you can set how it's, there's a speed, and it just makes the sound oscillate up and down. That's the low frequency oscillators. Alright, if you set it to the pedal then, now you can, it's assigned off there, uh, you can assign it to 
your gain, your amp gain, your amp level, which is your volume, your feedback, uh, your delay level of your feedback, your decay, your reverb level, your volume pre and volume post and the difference between pre and post is the pre is amplifying everything before you put the sound into it and it does something different than if it's post which is amplifying the sound after you put the effects in it so they each have their own type of sound and the only thing I can tell you is play with it and you'll see what I mean you find which one works best for you and that's just this is all work in your expression pedal if we were to assign it say our reverb level <laughs> We have it on our amp gain. You can set your amp on a minimum and a maximum so that this only works a certain range. Well, this concludes our Digitech RP300 series. And I hope that you gain some knowledge in it and are able to now make the sounds you want coming out of it. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a line, and I'll do my best to try to put you on track as well as I know. So, see you next time. Where music meets the highway of life. Everybody,